What's up, YouTube? Poke Primer here. Friend way to deliver you our week three battle for the NPBA. <clears throat> uh, this week we are taking on Josh and the Vermont Gardevoirs. Um, I am about to actually send him the challenge right now, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Challenge is sent. So we should be good to go. Challenge is sent, and we're gonna get into this. I'm like, I'm kind of hyped, kind of hyped, kind of hyped. Um, he does have a really, really, he has a decent team overall. And here we are, here we are, here we are. Here. So let's let's look at my let's look at my note sheet for this. I like to write down my kills and deaths and whatnot as well as I go along. So, so we're gonna see that he brings the oh my lord. Mega Venusaur, he brought the Gator, he brought the Entei, he brought the Lipard, he brought the uh, Rhyperior, and he brought the Florges. So, basically he brought all of his OU and UU Mons, and then, I guess, Rhyperior counts. I don't know, I count Rhyperior as higher than RU because RU's not... <sighs> Fitting, I think, for it, in my opinion. I don't know. But, uh, so we actually see it's not actually going to be that tough of a match. I, I don't think it'll be too terrible. I mean, Florida just is kind of annoying, but we have, uh, Gajil here, so Gajil can put in a lot of work here. Um, we're just going to go ahead. Uh, I don't see. He didn't bring any ways of removing hazards. He didn't bring Avalug, which is his only spinner, so. I think I'm free to lead with, um, this is my safest lead, what I think he's going to lead with, I think he might lead with Rhyperior, so if I think he leads with Rhyperior, do I lead with Mystigan? I think I lead with Mystigan. He leads with Lybard. I don't like that because of the simple fact that he can go ahead and just fire off a T-Wave, so I'm actually going to switch immediately to Loxus predicting a T-Wave. Is he's going to actually double out into the Venusaur. Alright, so we are actually Assault Vest, so how much... How much... Raikou Loxus versus a Mega Venusaur. Offensive. Extra Sensory does 37-45%. What about against a regular Venusaur? I mean, I have no reason not to go for it. This is a great situation. He just switched into the one mon that I kind of wished he would. Uh. Wait, how much did that extra sensory do? 21.7%. Okay, so he's definitely... He definitely has special defense investment. Wait. Yeah, he definitely has special defense investment. He's definitely especially bulky, so I cannot kill him with an HP water. So that's kind of a problem. So who do I go out into to handle an earthquake? Um, basically go out into Pumpkin. Pumpkin will eat the earthquake. He's got the leftovers, we know that. He goes for his rocks, okay. That's kind of fine. I didn't bring a spinner or defogger this week. I didn't feel the need. Um, I'm actually kind of free to go for a leech seed. Ah, he actually went out of the Venusaur predicting the. Okay. Um, what's my best play here? If I really predict the Sludge Bomb, I can go out and gut you. But he can't really do much. Um, well, that's just kind of shitty. Uh, we're off to a bad start. Can can Pumpkin from a Venusaur take a Sludge Bomb? I can take a Sludge Bomb. 
and burn this thing for residual. I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for the willow. He goes for knockoff. Okay, that's kind of okay. I'm okay with that. Um, that was bad. Right, we can still eat the sludge bomb. As long as I can burn this thing for the residual, I want the residual damage. Alright, he's probably gonna go for another sludge bomb, so I'm gonna go out into God's Shield. It's a safe bet. I'm not sacking, I'm not sacking Pumpkin. I can use Pumpkin later for something if I need it to. But I'm not gonna sack it. I refuse to sack it. Am I even on my camera right now? Yeah, I am. Okay, I'm good. Just wanted to make sure, but yeah, we're good. Um, hopefully, thankfully, I won't have to have this thing in only one window because of fucking what do you call it i'm getting my um i'm getting my second monitor set up soon uh, who does he go out into against this thing what does he have for this thing <coughs> am i free to set my rocks up how much hold on let me get Gajil up here. Let me get Entei up here. Because if there's any Mon on this team that can potentially do me some damage, it's Entei. Yeah, a banded Sacred Fire does over half to me. So I gotta make the play and go for the Earthquake. As he goes out into the Rhyperior, actually. So let's bring that up. Rhyperior. What can Rhyperior do to me? Earthquake did... 40%. So about right. Now, what's my speed set at? 147. What does that make me outspeed? I outspeed the Exeggutor min speed. I also outspeed min speed. Uh, I, know there, I know there was some other reason. No, I think it was just for the Exeggutor TBH. Um, oh, and the Mega Venus are at min speed. Um, alright, so an Iron Head would actually do 41 to 49% based upon my counts. So, do I go for it? How much is he doing to me? I mean, if he's not fully offensive, he's not going to be able to do... And if we flinch him too, that'd be... Oh, great. Perfect. Yeah, 41.8. We got min damage, but that's okay. Because I can literally just go for another Iron Head and down goes right here. So, Mega, Agron, kills right period. Alright, so this is kind of an issue because Abandoned Sacred Fire will fuck me up. But if your prediction goes for Stone Edge, I don't know, let's, let's, let's see how much that would do if he went for a Stone Edge. Okay, if you went for Stone Edge as I go into Jawan. Stone Edge. Oh, that's minus one, too. Uh, I have to take the risk. Or do I go into the Pumpkin and sack it? So I can get a free switch into uh, Jawan. As much as I don't want to, I feel like that's the play I need to make. Um, I can't... Pumpkin can't really do too much to the rest of his team. My part fucks it up. Uh, this thing fucks it up. Ice Punch or Crunch from Feraligator can fuck it up, and I don't see myself 1v1 wanting a Feraligator anytime soon. And down to the amount of HP I'm at, I'm not really as useful as I'd like to be, so I do have to suck off my Pumpkin. So I'm just gonna write it down. He is banded. Yeah. Entei... Kills... Or Entei kills Gore guys. That's fine. That's that's totally fine. I'm okay with it. Because then I can get a free swap into Jawan. At this point, what's gonna do more damage? He can't think about sacred firing me, so what does he go out into? That's my question. He can't safely go out into Venusaur, because I have the potential to carry moves that can hurt him. He go, what does he go out into? For alligator? 
Frog Eater, Dragon Dance. Um, close combat would do a little over half. I don't have to speed him though, that's kind of the problem here. Alright, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make a bold play here. Predicting him to go out into his for alligator, I'm gonna go out into my Loxus. There we go. He goes out into the gator, that's exactly what I needed. Alright, so he doesn't have any ground types, so I'm actually very free. So now that his uh for alligator or his Rhyperior is dead, I'm free to go for the full switch. Yep. He goes out into Venusaur, catch the Volt Switch. As I go out into... Let me figure that out real quick. Try and determine how bulky he is. I might actually be able to go on to tech support and kill this thing. Or try to kill this thing at least. Um... Let me go... Venusaur. My offensive. Volt switch. 12 to... 14.7. No, he's definitely defensive, he's definitely bulky. Is this especially defensive? It could be, kind of especially. It's, I don't know. It's hard to tell, but I think he's more especially bulky. Just because of how much damage that did. So I'm gonna go out into tech support because I am packing the uh, I am packing the Psy Shock over the Psy Kick uh, and nothing actually. I have to be smart here. How fast is Liveheart? Liveheart's one of six. He gets Sucker Punch. And he doesn't stay in here. So what does he go out into? The Florges or the Life art. I'm predicting the life art, so I'm gonna go flamethrower. Yep. Perfect. Now I'm not staying in though, because if he his me sucker punches me, I'm going down. I mean, let me let me check that actually. Life art versus tech support. Yeah, sucker punch would absolutely blow me back. So I'm actually going to go out into. Do, 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 I'm gonna go out into Juan. So I'm gonna feel like the sucker punch is coming. Dark pulse. Oh, all right then. See, so I I'm faster, but okay. Um, I'm gonna extreme speed because I know this thing's faster than me. So I'm just gonna get it off the field. It's so Arcanine. Kills. Life art. Oh, this is a bad situation. Um, at this point, do I think he's just gonna go for an attack? Yes. Do I have any choice in the universe but to go for close combat right now? Mm -mm. There's no choice. Because we look at this Arcanine. For alligator, dragon ants. Yeah, and he's not minus one either, so that's kind of a. Yeah, so he's neutral. He's killing me, one hundred percent. I have to extreme speed. Let me let me check something real quick. Raikou. I need to extreme speed. He goes straight forward. That's that's what I needed him to do. So I can go freely out into Loxus. If he had set up there, we would have lost. If we had if he had set up just there, we would have lost. So for alligator kills uh, Arcanine. All right. So. Again, uh, we're in that same situation where I can, in fact, just click Volt Switch. So I think I will. This Volt Switch actually kills at this range. However, do I want to be ballsy 
and try to predict the Venusaur and go for the extrasensory. No, I don't. Goes out into the floor just okay. This is alright. Because now I go out into... Uh, how much does... Let's, let me let me check something here. Frogadier. Mist again. Against... Gorgeous. Defensive. Hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to fucking, you know, let's let Miskin have, have some shine time. I'm going to go for the gunk shot. Oh, yo, and we get the poison. Yo, and I'm immune. Yo, that play was perfect. Yo, yo. Lock, Mistigan just went in. Frogue Deer kills. Frogue Deer just fucking killed Florges. Oh man, that play was perfect. Alright, I need to check something real quick. Because I am scarfed, so obviously I outspeed this thing. I mean, I outspeed this naturally, but. I am poison type. So I am actually poison type right now. I can just keep going for gunk shots. He's gonna synthesis. Okay, never mind. I'm not going I'm not doing this. Because he's just gonna get up to a very reasonable amount of health, and I'm not dealing with that. So I'm just gonna go out into uh I'm gonna go into Loxus. That's fine. He's just going to synthesis his way back up to full. Alright, now let's look at this. Uh, we're going to pull up Raikou. Loxus. I'm going to pull up. Extra sensor does 37 to 45%. You can't really stay in on that. For Alligator. How much do you take? 28 to 34. How much are you at? I can just, I can still just go for extra sensory. Sludge Bomb, we eat that, and you get poison. Okay. The only reason I'm planning on saving this thing right now, is the only reason I'm even considering it... Yeah, I'm gonna Volt Switch. Because I need this thing to kill the Feraligator, 100%. He's gonna synthesis there, that's fine. He's elf. Mr. Tech support. Against Mr. Mega Venusaur. Yeah, we just kill. So I just go for the side shock and we kill. He's elf. Kills. Um I just kill? Azelf kills Mega Venusaur. Alright, this is a scenario I've been waiting for all game. Let me just double check. Feraligator. Grass Knot kills. I'm going for the Grass Knot. Boom. Azelf kills Feraligator. Now, do I try to preserve differential? Do I have to? I also need this thing I can go for a Psy Shock. How much is Psy Shock going to do to Entei? And he's sitting at full, so... And he could just extreme speed me and kill me. But then he's locked in because he banned it, so... At that point, God Shield just wins. Psy Shock. Boom. That's clean 53%. He, he locks himself in the sacred fire, that was smart. But at this point, who do I give the final kill to? I give the final kill, I want to give the final kill to Mystic Game, because Mystic Game put in so much work. Just, just wiping that floor just out, so I'm going to go out into Mystic Game here. And that's going to be GG. There's no way he can win at this point. I just click Scald. Scald takes out the Entei. So Entei... GG. 
Entei kills. Um, Entei kills. Who, who did he just kill? Azelf? Yeah, Azelf. And then Frogadier kills motherfucking. Entei. For the win. Alright. So that is gonna be it. We now go to a record of 2 and 1 here in the MPBA with a differential now of plus 6. So that's actually not bad. I mean, we're not number 1 in our division, but, but you know what? That's not really necessarily what matters, I guess. Uh, next week, we will be taking on, as I pull up the schedule, we will be taking on the Alabama Arcanines, coached by Juwan himself. What are the odds? So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and sit down and start kind of looking over and prepping for his team right now. And we'll get uh, into that next week. But uh, if you guys have enjoyed this battle, please make sure you do the like down below. And subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, I'm Poke Primer. And I... I'm signing off.